cadre. Uh, I don't think it's good morning. I think it's after noon, just barely. So uh, later shave than normal. Um, going back to using the uh, Feather SS. Have a new uh, Feather Pro Guard blade in there. And today we're going to be using some unobtainium strop shop Baker Street. Uh, good scent. Uh, they're all <clears throat> fairly mild scents from Strop Shop. I don't know if that's because of the age or the way they were when they came out. Um, and they're Razor Rock, just a basic uh, synthetic brush here. So, uh, nothing new or special today. <clears throat> just a lazy day. Uh, Got up at I guess kind of a normal time and watched uh, Rich's video uh, and then got out of bed and <clears throat> put Chad's video on the big screen, made some breakfast. <clears throat> Excuse me, just kind of hanging around this morning. Uh, did some research trying to figure out uh, where we're going on vacation this summer. We had a big European cruise planned actually but um, I don't know it was, it was a big adventure that included Russia and I think uh, sitting there thinking about taking three teens pre-teens on that kind of a trip and the potential for boredom that kind of stuff with them is originally we thought uh, it would be a good adventure something that they look back on and I think now maybe the reality set <laughs> and so spent the morning talking about possibilities and looking stuff up. Here we go. So the other thing, uh, I posted a couple items yesterday. We went out to dinner. Um, because uh, <clears throat> our anniversary is end of next week, um, but we didn't have the kids this weekend, so. Went out to a nice steak place in San Francisco. Tried something new, they've got a bone-in filet mignon. And I don't think I've ever seen a bone-in on a menu before. Oh. And I think the philosophy is leaving the bone-in, you get the bone marrow and a lot more flavor in that area and that kind of thing. Um. <clears throat> may have but I'll also tell you as you get close to that bone you get a lot of the fat and some more gristle and stuff so it was one of those give it a shot and the rest of it was pretty good um, but yeah I just didn't eat that maybe half inch inch around the bone area. I'll post a picture of my wife got me a couple scents from Penn Holligan's uh, for our anniversary which is really cool. Um, it's funny because he was never really into this kind of stuff, but kind of stopping in to stores and smelling the things and all that. She's gotten a little bit into it, and of course, uh, let's see, this one that's, uh, is it Mala, Malaba? I gotta be careful, I got slippery fingers in a glass bottle here. Um, I picked that one up at one time, it was half price, I think. They were getting rid of the smaller bottles in the store I was at. I don't know if that smelled okay, 
But it is a little floral for me and she's discovered she likes that and has worn it a few times. So I think she's starting to warm up to pinholigans and then uh, had a sample of endymion that she really liked. Um, so she's kind of gotten into that. <clears throat> so she went to get uh, the endymion concentrate and they didn't have it. Uh, I guess they've been out of it for quite a while and it's out on the website. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if there's an ingredient in that one that's hard to get or what, but uh, So she got the Endymion Cologne And then uh, in a bigger bottle and then I think realized that uh, there's enough of a difference. I think I must have said something or but uh, she realized that I really wanted to concentrate. So she took back the bigger bottle and got me a smaller bottle of uh, Endymion Cologne, uh, which is cool, and a smaller bottle of Satorio, I believe it is. So let's see, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention here. Chris of the president and CEO of CBL Soaps mentioned he thinks my angle is different from one side to the other so I'll try to pay attention to that um, <clears throat> so she got smaller bottles and then that the travel size of the endymion cologne and kind of kept asking when would they get the concentrate back in so in the end, the lady said, you know what, I have no clue. When we'll get that big back in, I'll just give you the tester. So she got the tester bottle they had on the shelf of the Endymion Concentrate, which was over three quarters full. Just kind of... thrown in his customer service, I guess. Uh, which is fine with me. I almost don't mind the smaller bottles. Um, have plenty of fragrances back there and a few that aren't up, so I kind of like soaps. take a while to get through something like that anyway. That's interesting, uh, Chris talked about kind of the balance between an aggressive and a shallow angle. So, you know, shallow this way, aggressive that way. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to find out. <clears throat> Excuse me, trying to find out that sometimes I get, uh, if I try to go too shallow, which, you know, I think is going to be a little bit less aggressive on the face. Griska cutting yourself, all that stuff, I start getting some blade skipping, so I don't know if that's other technique or uh, all angle technique. Alright, so we'll go again with this second across the grain pass backwards. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not hearing any hair, so I think we're getting close to BBS on this side already.
So that'll definitely dry down to BBS and it's just a, we'll see over time. Um, I think with enough practice, sooner or later I'll be able to do BBS just with a straight everywhere. Um, the question will be, will it be able to compete with the BBS I can get from other razors? As I mentioned, this will dry down to a BBS. Um, but certainly with an SE and some DEs, I can get it so it's super smooth. You can't feel a thing right now anyway. So, um, that would be the ultimate. that ultra smooth BBS with just a straight. And without ripping my neck up. Interesting also it's an issue with some depth perception. Going way like this, I can only see this section in the mirror with this one eye. This eye is blocked, so you lose a little bit on well, you lose all depth depth perception that way. And it's kind of noticeable and kind of comfort of the blade and the angles. So so let's try this out. That was a decent shave. better than normal on the neck. Um, if I use very light touch, just kind of sliding my fingers all over, I don't feel anything. Well, I do have to kind of stretch my neck, so we're actually close to BBS. I feel some stuff here. So yes, it would be smart to just kind of leave my good enough alone, but uh, what fun is that, right? So I can tell that I'm not being, I should just stop. Not being very smart with these passes and uh, I'm sure there's going to be some alum sting with what I just did right there. Actually, all pretty good. Get this little spot here. What I need to do is stop feeling my face and put the darn razor down before there's bloodshed. So we will just rinse off <coughs> and let good enough alone. No weepers. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I got some. Huh. 
Not bad. I got some sting on the neck. Some sting up here. Uh, which I just redid, but actually nothing over there where I thought it would be. That's a, that's a positive note. Alright, so... Uh, <clears throat> I guess I apologize if there's not much going on in these videos. Um, just kind of got in the habit of making one every now and again, so I figure it's been a few days. I have the time. Uh, relax and shave. My wife is off to a uh, baby shower. Um, but I imagine they're much more interesting when it's a new razor, a new soap, something like that. So uh, yesterday, <clears throat> if you don't follow along, in the journals, I uh, used the Asylum RX single blade, which would get me the closest shave of anything I've got right now. But you gotta be careful with that. But I thought because it's kind of a much more aggressive shave than I've been getting, I would go back um, to using uh, the Nivea Balm. This one, I use the Nivea uh, Poche Balm No Alcohol. I had been using this two-in-one, uh, but I thought that the uh, extra lotion, hydrating properties, all that would help uh, make, protect the skin after that uh, kind of an aggressive shave. <clears throat> but I'm sold on this stuff, and I wish I was sold here. I have to get it from Germany. So I've got this bottle I'm working on, and I got uh, two more in a week or two ago, just so I wouldn't run out. But uh, kind of myself and Dave in Kentucky were discussing this this two-in-one when I first got it, and he thought it was very hydrating, and I wasn't quite sure about that. Uh, <clears throat> but I realized yesterday after I used this stuff that it's not that it's more hydrating it is that it kind of sits on the skin because I kept rubbing my face and kind of feeling like not that it was hydrated and soft but there's still I don't know it wasn't slippery but but it almost felt like it hadn't all soaked in um, <clears throat> whereas this stuff does and I've gotten used to that and I like the feeling of that so the skin isn't dry I don't feel like my the skin is dry but the, to the touch it is um, and I like that better than kind of feeling like there's always like a little residue or something like that. So there we go. Uh, quicker shave, I think. Um, Got to go check out the bingo numbers for today on the Shaving Cadre and uh, catch up on your journals and I'll see you online.